It's your boy, M.A. That's right. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about keeping women versus getting women. And this is such a relatable topic, especially when we're talking about money. There are so many people who can get money, but how many people can keep money? If you have longevity, if you have a mindset of, hey, I can hold on to this. Hey, I can build off of this. Hey, I can get everything that I possibly could get off of this. Then you have a much better life. You have a much longer, you're, you're able to get the value that you truly deserve deserve when it comes to women and obviously when it comes to money as well so listen to me closely guys i don't care if you can get women women don't care if you can get women your life doesn't care if you can get women nobody cares if you can get women can you keep them can you hold on to them do they want to stay with you are they a true asset to your life or are you just running around, hopping and hopping and hopping? Yes, it's a numbers game. Yes, we understand that. Yes, you're going to have to talk the volume. It's kind of like working out. It's a numbers game when you're lifting weights. You have to do so many reps, so many different ways for you to get your chest right. You have to do so many pull-ups, so many push-ups, so many different things to get your arms right. That's the same when it comes to everything in life. I don't know why a lot of people use this number game aspect when it just comes to dating. If you think about it, it's every part of life. If you want to get better at math, you're going to have to work with numbers. No pun intended. If you want to get better at reading, you're going to have to read. If you want to get better at writing, then you're going to have to write. You don't want to just write one book and say, okay, I'm officially a writer. Yeah, you might be technically, but you're going to have to put in the reps and have some enjoyment in the process of doing it. But when it comes to life and with women, guys, learn to keep them it's no it makes no sense to me how you guys are still single how you guys are still in the field with nothing at home you guys have nothing that you can go back to you have no women that are clutch for you you have no women that are truly down for you you have no women that want to be your girlfriend want to be your wife want to be your main chick want to be your side piece you always are starting from zero that is not the purpose of this guys that is not the purpose of this content to always start over, always wrapping it around. And that is the difference. I'm going to tell you guys who's the biggest player. I'm going to tell you guys who has the best game. It's going to sound crazy that I'm saying this because I didn't think this at first. And some of you may have not thought this at first. The guys that have the best game, if the situation is how they want it to be, it's guys that are married. It's guys that have had a girlfriend for a long time. I'm going to tell you why. Because they can keep the woman. Now, oh, whoa, what do you mean, Mary? That's a step. You're not supposed to be married. I'm talking about if their relationship is set up how they want it to be, fool. I'm not talking about the marriage in the example where the woman's running the house. The man is just there. He's in a horrible situation. I'm talking about those marriages where you see the couple and you think, damn, that's couple's goals. And I'm not talking about the random posts on Facebook. I'm literally talking about like you, you see how their marriage is operating. You see how the man is able to leave. You see how the woman's willing to follow. You see how their household is set up. You see how they interact with each other. You see how they still seem like their marriage is new, even though they may have been married for over 20 to 30 years. Those are the guys that you need to be paying attention to. Those are the guys that you need to be learning game from. Those are the guys that you need to be watching because they can keep a woman. You got to understand, no matter how long you're with a woman, she is going to be changing all the time. Every minute, every day, every hour, every month, every week, every year, she is changing. She's testing you. She's doing all of this crazy stuff. You're thinking everything is good, and then she pops up out of nowhere with something random and crazy. How is that guy able to maintain that? How is that guy able to maintain his peace? How is that guy able to say, hey, you're my girl, but I'm going to have other girls as well, and she'd be okay with that, when typically you would think that no woman is okay with that? That is a guy who really has an understanding of women. Now, can you keep them all? Eh, probably not. You know, if you're out here and you're brand new at this, then you might understand that women are going to come and go. But which one would you prefer? Would you prefer to have a hundred women in one year and a hundred percent of them are gone the next year? Or would you rather have 20 women, but three of them stuck around going into next year and the year after that and the year after that? If you're thinking a hundred versus the 20, then I'm telling you, bro, you're going to be in a rat race. 
you're gonna be tired this is how guys get all this exhaustion and they end up just getting fed up with women and having all these complaints about them because you can't keep them bro you barely can get them but you can't keep them you can't maintain them this is the same aspect when it comes to money if you've ever touched an amount of money that you've never touched before, why do you not have that money still flowing in? Why is your bank account nowhere near similar to that now? Why are you just one of these one time, man? You remember that one year? Yeah, I was really having them racks. Yeah, that one time, yeah, I had a really good month. Can you keep it? Can you maintain it? Can you multiply it? You know, if you think about the money, you let the money work for you to make more money. There are some guys out here, believe it or not, yeah, you're looking at one that can have their women help them get more women. Hmm, you never thought about that, did you? You don't think it's a real thing, do you? You think it's impossible, don't you? I'm telling you, now, if you just now met a woman and then you want her to go get you more women, you think she's gonna be okay with that or quick to do that? Maybe not, maybe she's still trying to impress you versus you having a woman that's been down with you for about three, four, five years. She understands how you rock, she understands your type, she knows the type of woman that you like and the type of women that you're attracted to and she can bring them home to you. She can attract them for you. The game gets a lot more easier when you got that going on, but I think that's a different topic. That's more of a Patreon topic that we'll talk about on exclusive content because I know on this public platform, you guys don't even think that's true. You don't even think that that's possible. You don't think that that's a real thing. I'm telling you it is. I'm telling you there are guys out here that are making that happen, but they understand how to keep women. They understand that the attraction level of women still has to go up every single minute, every single second, every single hour, every single day, which is why you can't get comfortable and you can't let her get comfortable. Now, I always feel like I have to say this stuff because some of you guys are just very literal you're very weird you don't understand what i mean i'm not saying that you can't get comfortable with a woman that you've been with for two years and take your shoes off and sit on the couch with her i'm saying you can't be so comfortable to where your life is set up to where if she ever left you for whatever reason or you ever left her for whatever reason you wouldn't be able to maintain and operate your life that's what I mean when I say you can't get too comfortable, bro. You can relax on the couch with your girl, okay? You can do that. That's fine. But you need to have the mentality of you have the hunter mentality. You have the mentality of you're always approaching other women. You're always talking to other women. You're always interacting and flirting with other women. Not necessarily disrespect her or make her jealous, but just so you keep that muscle going. You don't always have to go all the way. You don't have to get the number. You don't have to smash these other chicks, but you do need to keep that going because I'm telling you guys this right now, and I say it all the time, if you don't use it, you will lose it never get out the field, never get too comfortable. You end up getting a girlfriend or a wife, congratulations, bro. You still need to know how to interact with women. You still need to know how to attract women. You still need to know how to talk and flirt with women because as soon as you get too comfortable, she's going to smell it on you that mm, you're not that attractive to women anymore. You're not that guy anymore. You're totally different from when we met where you were this super P, you had all this motion going on. And now you're all about me. Now you're all up under me. Now you you have no, she has no fear or paranoia that you're out here potentially dealing with other women. Like I said, not from a disrespectful aspect where you have to brag or anything like that, but women can smell when other women are attracted to you guys. So I'm telling you, learn to keep women, not just get women. If you need to understand this more, hit me up for a one-on-one -on -one consultation so we can talk about you specifically, your situation, and how I can help you do this because I guarantee a lot of you guys are in that circle over and over in that circle. And also, I got more exclusive content on the So Fresh So Clean Patreon. Click on the link below. If this video gave you some value, hit that super thanks. Hit that cash app. Hit that PayPal. Hit me up, man. Like, show me some love so that I can show you guys the love back. I just want to make sure y'all enjoying the content. I'm out. Peace.